We also wanted to have more of a uh, depth presence of someone who can definitively come up, and that's where him and Josh Juris come in. And then we also signed uh, Jordan Subban, played against him a lot in Utica, and was obviously very familiar with him from the OHL. And we just we feel that we can help him in the areas of his game that he needs work, and he's got really, really good. Uh, top end uh, shot, skating, and offensive potential, and so we're excited to get him into our development program and get rolling. I've already seen where people have been calculating uh, how you can fit all these young yeah. players when they, you know, when you have to yeah. re-sign some of these young guys under the cap with this uh, mm -hmm. contract, but um, when, you, when you look at the situation, do you mm -hmm. feel like this signing gives you some flexibility to make some moves down the road if you have to with all the, I guess, this plethora of talent up front? Uh, I, I think in, in first, uh, certainly in this year we, we still have a healthy amount of cap space and I think eventually, um, it's, you know, eventually, we're our younger players as they continue to develop and progress, they're they're going to want to be pair, uh, paid with the market bears for them, and, and that's no problem on our end. We're well uh, we're well situated to to handle that when it comes, and I think we'll always remain flexible. And John today certainly, you know, it's very evident he could have got more uh, elsewhere, and, and I think that's that sets a great tone for our organization. He obviously wanted to be here versus going out and getting the most money, and that's. That's obviously not a surprise given what we know about his character and uh, I think that's that's a great uh, message for us and, and uh, to our fan base and our, and our young group as well that this guy wanted to be here with them and, and passed up on other opportunities to be here with us and um, I think already you can, we've, we've had as, as the day's gone on some veteran players that um, were seeking longer term deals that, that are saying that they, they'd like to come here on, a sh on the short term and that's up to us to continue to keep that train rolling and, and really on me, not anybody else to continue need to manage that. We've got a great staff with Brandon Pridham and Lawrence Gilman, and so we'll be on it and uh, continue to, to manage this properly. Cal, you got a scenario here where you've got John and then Austin and Nas down the middle. Uh, yeah. How important is that going to be um, when you look at what Washington was able to accomplish with their three centers this year in Pittsburgh and with Malkin and Crosby? I think it's it's very, very important for us. I mean, it's uh, that's why we focused on and that's why we went uh, the direction we did and how hard we did with uh, with John and we felt the time was right but uh, I think what it provides for us is, is an ability to uh, to create matchup problems and, and Mike is certainly the, the type of coach you want to exploit those and uh, it's very I think it's very exciting for our wingers as well not only do you have the three centers but we've got a, a, a healthy uh, allotment of, of wingers that, that can play with them and can make plays with skill and so it's it's very exciting for us Mike and, and um, I think Obviously, as you look into trying to um, you know, build a, a team that can that can go into the playoffs, and we, you know we got to get past the first round. We're in a very tough division; still doesn't change that. But we're trying to get past those two teams that finished ahead of us and stay ahead of the rest. And we felt this was a good way for us to go about that as we continue to perfect our process here. What kind of sense did you get from John about sort of his checklist and, and what he was going through, and what he really wanted in his yeah. own landing spot? It was he was very very methodical, Chris, and he was uh, very very well prepared for the process. Um, you, know, you go and you talk to a lot of free agents every year, not usually as high profile as this, and he was by far the most prepared I've ever seen. We walked in, he had a very detailed list of questions that he wanted answered about our style of play, about our, you know how Mike was going to use him, about my vision for the team and, and how we were going to move it ahead, how we were going to keep the core of the group together, what our strategy was. So he was very, very detailed and direct, and I thought that was, that was outstanding because a lot of times you, you wish that you had players that were as invested in that same process as you were and I think with our and, and getting to meet and I mean I've obviously I've, I've known a lot of the players here but getting to deal with them on a daily basis and get to know them it's it's a great group of uh, of intelligent young guys and and uh, it's been it's been a very very uh, exciting process for me to go through so he was very detailed in, in his questioning and and uh, which impressed me and and then we tried to go through all that with him and explain to him throughout in a very detailed way back about how he would use him, how this all uh, fits and how it all works together. What did he, you want to know from him? I think what we want to know from him, what I want to know from him is, uh, and I, I'm with, with this every time we're getting somebody to join our staff, is you know, what, what are his major concerns, uh, not only on the ice but off the ice? Because one of the things, and, and Brendan alluded to it there, that, that I say to all of our players and our staff is that it's not just the staff that go through this. Their family goes with uh, goes through it with them and a lot has been said that you know Toronto's a very difficult place to play and the media is very tough and 
And that hasn't been my experience here at all. I found the media to be very fair. I found the public to be extraordinarily supportive and respecting of, of our family space. Um, I think when we perform poorly, we hear about it, which is fair. And when we're doing well, we get told we're doing well, which is fair. I don't ever think that it's malicious or anything like that. So it was educating them on, on that and what it's, and for me, it's easy for, for me because we have a young family and we go through it. So it's easy for me to speak to what they're going to go through. We moved to Toronto the first summer we got married. They're getting married this summer. We started our family here as I've been in the organization. It's obviously a very public position, but I, it's never overwhelming. It's, it's as strange as this might seem to say it's nothing like it was when we were in the Sioux where every single person knows you and every single person is all over you all the time uh, even when you're winning or losing telling you how bad you are and then how you're not good enough so well we kind of went through all that and and talked about that the way that we run our our family program which uh, which we've developed and evolved and and uh, it's a very very important to us so that's kind of what our focus was for sure has the core of this team, Kyle, grown into the expectations upon them? And obviously, exponentially, they're going to grow yet again this season. I, I think the core, I, I, well, it's sort of interesting, right? Because I think when people say the core of the team, they focus on Austin, uh, William, and Mitch. And, and when I look at the core of the team, I, I think, you know, it, it, oftentimes Morgan Riley and, and uh, Jake Gardner, uh, Nikita Zaitsev, and Freddie Anderson get... Uh, they get glossed over a lot, so the, the, and you know, then you've added Patrick Marlowe and Ron Hainsey to it as well, uh, in addition to Zach Heim and Connor Brown. So I think the core of our team is is uh, very, very solid, and they've developed very well. Mike's done an excellent job uh, in continuing to have that development carry on since they've been with the Leafs, and I think it's only going to continue to improve. I've got a lot of faith in our development program and, and our coaching staff that our guys are going to continue to get better every day, and, and that's that's the exciting part, Paul, for sure. Each step along the way, uh, is there a sense of pride that your stamp is on this team now, the draft, what happened today, that kind of thing? No, I, I think, Lance, I, I've been here now for four years, and I'm, I'm excited to just be a part of the process. I don't, um, you know, I'm very fortunate to work with the people that I work with, and you know, obviously with Brendan and Mike, but our whole staff, it's, it's just, it's a great uh, group of people to be a part of, and, and um, I don't need to feel like that at all. It's, I'm just a, a part of the group and try to do what I can to add to it and guide it whenever I can, and that's, that's really it, yeah. I apologize if this has been asked before, but um, when you walked out of the meeting on Monday, what, what were you thinking, what were you feeling, and for the rest of the week, what was the week like as you waited for, for some kind of closure? I felt the same way. I said this to Mike and Brendan and we walked out of their office. Uh, I felt the same way about the meeting that when I interviewed in Sault Ste. Marie, I walked out, I had, it was one of the only two meetings I've had no idea which way that they had gone. I had no feeling one way or the other. Sometimes you go into a meeting and you know what's gone badly, Steve, and then other times you walk out and you think, oh, it was, we, did, we did great. Yeah, and then this one was just like that. I had no idea um, whether we did great or whether we did poorly. And then throughout the week, you start to hear anecdotes out of, out of their camp, and, and then you go up and down, because it's an emotional decision for him. So he goes up and down, and thus that gets cast back onto uh, us and the other teams that were involved. So just kind of ride the wave during the week and try to ride it well and uh, continue to focus on what our other plans would have been and we're happy that it came to the conclusion that it did.